Hello friends, today let's solve the sum of distance in trees again. So this question give, uh, gives us an undirected connected tree with n nodes labeled from 0 to n minus 1 and there are n minus 1 edges. And uh, we need to return an answer array which array i indicates the sum of the distance between the i's node in the tree and all other nodes. So how to solve this? A uh, question we can see the uh, see we can see first uh, this tree ah okay so it's zero and the one two three four this is the example tree given by uh, the question let's consider if we only need to calculate the distance from zero to all the other um, all the other nodes how can we calculate that it's basically calculate, uh, uh, decide which level each node belongs to. Because for node 1 and node 2, they are, they, in, they are on the level 1, so the distance would be 1 plus 1 to 0. Okay, so it would be result 0. How about uh, node 3, 4, 5? They would uh, equal to their level 2, right? So it would be uh, 1, 2. For all the nodes in uh, on the level two, three, four, five, it would be uh, mm, plus two, plus two, plus two, so it will equal to eight. That's how we calculate when the mm, when we need to calculate all the distance uh, as its subtree. So it's very easy, pretty easy. How about uh, we want to uh, you know calculate two. We can do the same thing for all the nodes in this uh, subtree. We can use the same way. So we can know a uh, result two would equal to would equal to one plus one plus one equal to three, right? Because um, because this uh, you know because uh, if we treat uh, node 2 on the level 0, then 3, 4, 5 would, uh, on the level 1, right? So uh, just be 1 plus 1 plus 1. But, but the thing is, how can we calculate uh, the nodes not in his subtree? Uh, not in its subtree. So how about these two nodes? Actually, we can cal uh, get uh, result 2 based on the result uh, of zero, how can we do that? You can consider uh, first. We consider the blue triangle. All the nodes inside the distance to two is actually equal to their distance to um, node zero minus uh, four. Why? Because you see three. When this node three go to node zero, it should be one two, right? But now we only want to go to node two, so it would be distance 1. The same for 4 and 5. Their distance to node 0 would be uh, 1, 2. But now we only want to go to node 2, so it would be um, minus 1, minus 1. So we minus 3 here. So for itself, the node 2, we need to minus uh, 1 as well. So for the older nodes inside its subtree, it would become uh, here, it would become um, we need a you know, uh, go to count uh, four minus count two, because there are four nodes inside, and their distance compared to their distance to zero would be their uh, sorry their distance to node two would be would be um, uh, less than their distance to zero, and the delta would be count two. How about the nodes in this part? We can do the same thing. Their distance to node 0 would be 0 and 1, right? But now we want to let them go to node 2. So their distance would be one more. And then for the 1, it's also one more. So you can consider their distance would be their nodes inside more. So it would plus something, plus the number inside this part. But how do we know their number of nodes inside here would be n minus count 2 because um, n would be the total number 
of nodes inside the tree would be six. And the, the nodes inside the, this part, we call it a cal2, would actually equal to cal2 would be four. So this part would be two. Okay, so this, this is the delta uh, based on the result zero. So which means we should know the result zero first. And then we, uh, you know, we plus this delta and or minus this delta. Then we can get uh, the result two. So on and so forth. We can do this, the same thing, two, three, four, five. So this is a pre-order. Since we need to know um, the, we need to know the information in result zero, result two, and uh, in order to solve result three, result four, so so on forth, so on so forth. Okay, but for the first part, we need to know the result zero, right? How can we calculate result zero? Um, it's actually a post order. Why it is a post order? Since we need the uh, we start from the leaf node, okay? So it would be, eh? for leaf node, we know the result uh, three would be zero, right? Result uh, four would also be zero. Result uh, five is also zero because they, they don't have the nodes to other places because it's a tree. So there is no parent node. It's just that they don't have any children. So it's zero. And uh, we also need uh, this count information as we see below, right? So count uh, three will be one, count four would be one, count uh, uh, five would be one, okay? So uh, result uh, two would uh, become three, right? Um, because it's one, two, three, so it would become three. How to calculate that? It's actually the sum of the result uh, three, four, five and the sum of count uh, three, four, five, so it's three. How about uh, the result zero? We can do the same thing. Result uh, zero would equal to result uh, one plus count one plus result two plus count two. So result one would be zero because it doesn't have any children, so it would be zero. Uh, count one would be one. Uh, result two would become Result two would become, we calculated before, three, right? How about call two? Call two would be four, one, two, three, four. It has four notes, so it would be eight. Okay, so basically two parts, post order to get this uh, count array and uh, result zero. Uh, how about uh, pre-order? Pre-order, we calculate uh, um, any notes which, uh, you know, um, under this root node. So we just write the code here. Uh, because it gives us the uh, ages, so we need to get the um, agent agent list. So we call it a graph, and we also need the count. We also need the we also need the result. So it would be graph new int oh sorry it would be list and uh, count would equal to um, int n and uh, result would equal to uh, n and um, what should we do here we should uh, for int i equal to i i less than n i plus plus it would be graph i new array list and then we uh, build this graph. So for each age in these ages, we, um, you know, it's undirected. So both sides would uh, need uh, this age. So would become uh, add h1 and uh, graph h1 would add uh, this h0. Okay, so it's about these ages. Um, then we need the two DFS and the DFS two, and then return result. Okay, so for the first the DFS, we uh, the aim is uh, it's actually a first order, right? So we need uh, this node root, and we also need to make sure it wouldn't uh, go back. So we need this brief. So for its neighbor in the graph uh, graph root. Uh, we make sure if neighbor doesn't equal to brief, we just uh, a, a, a. 
If it's equal, we just continue. So if it's equal, we continue. Otherwise, it's a post order. So we should uh, do DFS first. So neighbor and uh, now the proof would equal to root. Uh, what we want to uh, calculate here is two things. One is uh, the result uh, root would, uh, you, uh, you know, it would be the sum of the result neighbor plus the count neighbor. And uh, we also needed to uh, accumulate the count root would be equal to the count neighbor. Uh, don't forget, uh, like uh, if we, the current root is two and uh, we accumulate uh, its uh, children's count, but itself also needed to be counted. So count root need to add itself. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Uh, Another DFS2 would be DFS2 would be int root and uh, pre it would be pre-order. So uh, we do the same thing, pre-order, it would be graph root. Okay, so if uh, neighbor equal to pref, we just uh, continue. Otherwise we do, uh, it's pre-order. So we, uh, because we already have the formula, the formula would be root neighbor would equal, uh, push root, sorry, it's a uh, result, result root minus, because this part would uh, lead, uh, need uh, less, so we minus the count of neighbor. And this part would need more, so we just need to add uh, count dot length minus count uh, neighbor. Okay, and then it would be DFS2, would be neighbor and uh, root. Okay, so we just write it. it would be zero, negative one, zero, negative one. Because this is the first pre, so you can write zero. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.